Movie Fanatic. Hey everyone, welcome to another Movie Fanatic review. Today's review is going to be on the film Knives Out, directed by Ryan Johnson. A detective and trooper travel to a lush estate to interview the quirky relatives of a patriarch who died during his 85th birthday celebration. I gave the film four and a half stars, and with every review, I always like to start with what worked well with the film, so let's start talking about that. Number one, storyline. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Clue, the 2019 edition. That's basically what this film is, and that's what makes it hilarious. The main house had a bunch of secret entrances and exits, just like their house included. Everyone in the film is a suspect, just like Clue. They're trying to solve a murder, like Clue. It's basically that, and it's hilarious, and I love it. My favorite part of the storyline was when Daniel Craig and his, like, detectives were, or however you call them, but they were interrogating everybody. Now tell me, who is Ransom? He's his grandson. He's a good kid, a little troubled here and there, but still a good kid. He was an asshole is what he was. Number two, the set. As I mentioned earlier, the set is a lot like the house from Clue in that it has a bunch of nooks and crannies and secret rooms and secret doors within the walls. And with it being like this, it made me more interested in the film. And while it was playing, in my mind, I kept trying to figure out who did what and how they did it and where they were. Unfortunately, I wasn't all 100% correct. Number three, actors. The cast includes Daniel Craig, Chris Evans, Ana de Armas, Catherine Lanford, Jane uh, Leiberher, if you think, and Jamie Lee Curtis and a bunch of other people I'm too tired to name. But anyway, I think they made a great choice in terms of casting and they all did an amazing job and really put emotion and action and their intent into the roles. Number four, cinematography. I like the variety of different shots they used in the film, as well as the use of close-ups during the questioning of each person. I liked how the camera would instantly zoom in in a couple of shots as well. It kind of made it more uh, mischievous in a way. Number five, comedy. The jokes helped sell the show. Two of my favorite jokes was when Chris Evans was complaining about Daniel Craig's accent. Now, sir, you gotta understand, this is important. Enough with that KFC girl setters Bullsh and when they were discussing the boys' whereabouts. Now that we have the good stuff out of the way, let's move on to what the film needed to work on or change. And this time, it's really only one thing that I have to complain about, and that is Daniel Craig's accent. Oh boy. I don't know if that's how people really talk in the South, but I thought he gave the worst American accent ever. It's like me trying to do a British accent. Always ends up sounding Australian for some reason. And that was my review on Knives Out. Let me know what you thought about the film in the comments below. I do recommend you see it. It's pretty good. You won't want to miss it. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you can keep in the loop of upcoming movie reviews. And for the month of December, I have so many films I want to see. And those reviews will hopefully be on Dark Waters, Jumanji, Richard Jewell, Seaberg, Uncut Gems, Cats, Star Wars, Just Mercy, Little Women, Song of Names, and Clemency. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.